guys and girls, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones here in the Westerlands as House Blackmane. Before we get into today's episode, yes, I did see the release of, uh, well, the trailer, I should say, for Dragons for the Game of Thrones, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait. It's going to be such a great update. I can't wait for it. We will be diving into it once it has been released to the public. Um, yeah, we'll start ourselves a new campaign as a dragon rider. We might even do the Dance of Dragons, because that's the one I believe is the the bookmark that will be released with it, because the West is pretty much all in the Westerlands, and the Westerlands is ready to go. So yeah, like I said, I can't wait for it. It looks really cool. I know it looks pretty basic at the moment, but hey, you know, they always improve on things as things get started. Um, so in today's episode, we will be claiming the Golden Tooth, I reckon. We got a claim on it from uh, the High Septum. So why wouldn't I, you know? I think that makes sense. We got enough troops. They got plenty of troops as well, but we should be okay. So we're going to declare a claim, and we're going to take it for ourselves. We will be pulling in all our allies as well. Uh, so let's call to arms. And I can't call him to arms, which is a bit of a pain in the arm. Call to arms. Now, we do have a few more children we could make an alliance with. I'm thinking of marrying him off. How many troops do you have? 6,500. King Renly. Um... These are a bit too old, but that's not a bad alliance. It's Oh no, you're only Lord Renly. You're not even the king. Okay. Um, Still, six and a half thousand troops. That would be a good... That would be actually a really good alliance. Um, unless we got something a little bit closer. Uh, no, we would already get that, but that wouldn't be useful for us at all. Uh, Valyrian, no, probably too far away. Brax, that would be a decent alliance. That would give us only three and a half thousand troops, but a bit right there. You know what, we're going to make a, an alliance with, uh, Mina Brax. Sure, why not? And then we'll call him into our war as well. Okay, they do have some allies, which is fine. We're going to raise ourselves an army. And like I said, excellent. They've agreed to that. And now, thank you very much. Come join our war. We might as well use our children to our advantage as well. And that is a good alliance as well. Another big giant, uh, another high lord in the, the Westerlands. Okay. So everyone's agreed to join in. Excellent. We're going to move on up. We are going to enter seclusion as well uh, because there is a plague um, and I don't want my all my children and everyone dying of consumption uh, so we do have a, a grandson as well Alan uh, who will eventually inherit but I'm looking forward to playing as Gerald the sleeping lion now sleeping lions are always overestimated but once we become him, we will be definitely claiming this land for ourselves. Well, for our wife, anyway, once we get to that stage, anyway. So that is what we're going to be looking at doing, hopefully, today. Uh, we've got one ally in, which is fine. The Brax has come in as well to support us. We're going to play this methodically. Oh, what is that? Is that a special building? I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Ooh, fort level, 11, damn. Okay, we're going to hold on to that. Not, sorry, not hold on to that, come on, thank you. We're going to move in and take one area at a time, just to kind of cement our power as we move in. Um, we are going to sell the creature for 50 gold. Yes. Uh, we do want that extra income, which is fine. Uh, yes. Excellent. We get an alliance with them, and we're going to call you in as well. Like I said, these guys are quite strong. They've got a decent number of troops. 
And like I said, if we can kind of crush them as quickly as we can. The problem with attacking that is, as you can see, it's fort level 18, which is insane. That's going to take us a lot of troops. So like I said, I'm happy to just kind of pick away at the settlements that are hanging around here before we move in. Now also, you guys did say also for Castamy uh, to get it at... To upgrade it, I have to pretty much upgrade all these buildings, which we are doing now, and it's going to take a while, unfortunately. Um, so we need a new chancellor. Congratulations, Master Anson. You will become our new chancellor. So yeah, I thought I already entered seclusion. Is it because? Oh, it's probably because I'm leading this army. Okay, that's okay. Uh, that's fine. So, they... That's fine there. They're gonna do that. I'm happy to just, like I said, pick up the, the settlements one at a time. Also, it gives us a little bit of extra gold as well. Poisonous nuts. We are going to spend the 25 gold. And... Because we do care about our servants, you know. We're compassionate and tempered. We're ruthless, but we're not ruthless against our servants, so... Sure, we're going to spend the 25 gold on that. Uh, we're going to accept that proposal as well. So they are now married. And what we're going to do is we're going to grant the title, Admivale, to our son. And what will happen is, once they have children, the children will be of the Rexley bloodline, which is fine. How is that play going anyway? It's... Still there, okay. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to keep an eye on that. What is it? The Romantic Plague, okay. We got 13 gold, which is fine. We're gonna just move up and, like I said, take out each of these at a time. Our daughter has grown up, which is good, so they should be able to get married quite soon. Um, I'm happy to leave that as it is. I could demand payment, but it's only 16 gold, so at the moment, it's not really worth it. That's going to take six years, yeah. So, like I said, I'm happy for them to continue doing that. Ooh, there's been a bit of a rebellion. Well, not a rebellion per se, but I'll leave that alone. That's an internal matter. I know we're ruthless, but we're fighting our own wars at the moment. Okay. So, the plague has ended. We will spend the 27 gold and start repairing the settlements. I think we would easily do that. Um, because... I don't see a point of not doing it. You know, there's, there's not a lot of gold. Uh, I'm assuming they've already gotten married, which is fine. Was that just a normal marriage? It was, okay. So if he somehow... Ah, oh, damn, I was going to say, if he somehow dies, his son will inherit, damn. Okay, that's okay. Okay, we're about to finish off that one. Excellent, which is good. Uh, they're about to take Hornvale, which is not that great, but that's okay. Um, so what I was saying in one of the other episodes is if this happens and they say capture him, they should be able to force him out of the wall. Um, I know that won't happen, but I think it would make a lot more sense if it did. Uh, they're going to have to pull back because I don't think... Oh, they might have enough troops. Nope, they got crushed. Which is fine. Okay. Ooh. The charcoal cellar. I got a chance of being wrathful or generous. Hmm. One of the, my men claims the charcoal cellars are responsible. Starting... Uh, stating they fear losing the woodlands from which they make their living. See, they're stealing equipment. No. Okay, we're going to talk to them. Oh, uh, you know, if they behave like bandits, we shall treat them like bandits. So we're going to be ruthless. Uh, we're going to kill Joss. We gain 13 dread. And we lose 75 prestige. 
We are compassionate, but these guys are thieves. You know, we got no no compassion for a thievery and any of that. So we're going to come down and crush them. Okay, so they are going to take back this settlement, which is fine. I'm not overly too worried. Uh, how many years? Our councillor has died as well, again. Uh, four years. Jeez, okay. So it's going to take four years before we take that settlement. Which is fine. Not really. That's a lot of time for us to sit here and wait. We did unlock stewardship as well, which is quite good. So we're going to go Herogold for an extra 10% vassal tax contribution. Sure, why not? What are we like anyway? We, we're just fine. Okay. So we're bringing in a decent amount of money. We're going to demand payment for our, our son. Uh, no point making an alliance with him anyway. And we are going to move over. Okay. So they've kind of backed off. Okay, how long is this one? That's going to take two years. That's four years. Okay. So we're going to just kind of chill here. And we can kind of reinforce wherever we need to. Okay, we sh should win this battle. And that should boost us up quite a little bit. Our daughter has lost consumption, which is good. Uh, oh yeah, because he's going to become king eventually, won't he? Yes. Okay. So everything's coming along along quite well. We're just, unfortunately, just sitting here. There's not much we can really do. Uh, bump. Hmm. It is fine. I should have been careful too. How dare you know. You know what? He's our admiral. We're going to say it's fine. I should have been careful too. You know, we're not a total dick. Okay, we do have a prisoner, which is good. Unfortunately, we can't use it to sell her. Uh, she's got no gold. That's fine. She can hang out in prison. Question. 41. 9. Okay, if we get another battle, we can end this once and for all. Okay, we're actually going to take the settlement back. This might be enough to push it over the edge as well. Uh, he, what did he die? He died of consumption as well. Bloody hell. We're just going through so many... Uh, sure, Timus, our knight, congratulations. You've been promoted. Uh, borrow more, sure, you can contain it. Did they actually... He did, so he's taken all three... Oh no, only two. Okay, that's fair enough, fine, whatever. I'm not too fussed about that. Okay, they've almost completed that siege, which is fine. 22 months, what do we have left of this siege? 29 days. And that should be enough. Excellent. We are going to now demand. And can we ask for... Oh, because we're taking it. Okay, fine. We're going to enforce demand. We gained the golden tooth. She becomes a vassal of ours, which is fine. And we can disband our army. And we gained 57 gold from... Oh, and another 13 gold. Excellent. And we'll ransom you off for 15 gold as well. We might as well get an alliance with you now as well, which is all good. Excellent. So, we now own quite a lot of land, which is really, really good. And like I said, we will eventually take this land down here as well. I can't declare war at the moment, but I should be able to with my son. Uh... Okay, you don't inherit that claim. That's fine. Oh, we got a granddaughter as well. But she does. So hopefully she's still alive. Or all that would have been for nothing. Okay. So, I'm happy with that. Cool. We could go on a grand tour. Uh, for 205 gold, I think we're going to hold off going on the grand tour. We do have a lot of money to spend. Like, I was going to save it up for upgrading, but the thing is, we just can't upgrade it for another eight years. So it's like, we might as well spend a little bit of it to try and get some of the money back as it is. Uh, let's build a quarry. Quarry? An extra gold? Hmm. Now, I could look at building stuff that gives us 
heavy infantry damage and stuff like that, but I think at the moment, Lowell Hall is going to be a... Mm, I just need to work out what we want to do with everything. Okay, we could probably build a blacksmith, if we can. That brings in a bit of extra gold, and also gives us stationed men at arms damage as well, so I'm always happy to spend money on that. Um... We're going to build another hospice. It brings in money, but also we get a bit of plague resistant as well. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, okay, that's fine there. I'm not really too fast about that. We could look at upgrading for 332 gold. That's cheaper and gives us plus eight holding tax. Sure, we're going to upgrade that. Okay, excellent. So we've spent a bit more money. We got some more money back. Our counselor has died. Uh, our spy master this time. Okay, we're going to sign you. Hopefully you last a little bit longer. And you're doing managed domain, which is fine. Excellent. So overall, not doing too bad. We're bringing in a decent amount of money. Uh, you got a claim on Lord's Port. Okay, that's up in uh, the Iron Islands. I'm not too fussed about that. I'm not going to go on a grand tour. I don't think we need it at the moment. We will cancel that and go to Road Hollow. Just to support them. Uh, I'm sure... Okay, most of them really don't care too much. Um, who is strong? Okay, wow, you're the last Yarwick. Okay, fair enough. You definitely don't like me, which is fine. I'm not too fussed about that. Okay, you're 11. Maybe we make an alliance with her just to keep her on our side. Our son's 8. Oh, but we made an alliance with Brax, that's right. Uh, our daughter, Aluria? Ooh, who do we have... No, you look a bit sketchy, mate. Uh, what else we got? Oh, you own two lands. Okay. Could make an alliance with you. Our daughter would be... Is ten. Still a while off. You got a claim on that anyway. Oh, no. She's in a potential alliance anyway. Um... How the hell do you get a potential alliance with that by clicking on that? Okay, I think that may be actually a good idea. That will make him like us a little bit more. Family connection, so they most likely won't up, uh, rise up against us. Uh, he is going to inherit. He's not too bad. Um, sure, we're going to make that an arrangement. And our wife has lost consumption as well, and we formed the line, so hopefully that will stop her from rising up. We could technically imprison her as well. How much gold you got? 137. But we've made an alliance with her. We've taken the land. I think she's been punished enough. Okay. Uh, traveling pilgrims. Gain 25 prestige. Uh, not prestige, sorry. Piety, sure, why not? And we could go to... He's getting married again? Again, to Mira Stark. Sure, we're going to go to that wedding. This is going to be interesting. So you're marrying a Stark. Um. So your father is Benjamin Stark. Okay, fair enough. Uh, whatever happened to half his family? Sansa died of the Sunset Plague. Arya, the slain in battle. She married an Umber. Okay, fair enough. Brandon became a a knight and married an Umber as well and had one child. He's got no land, though. Prince John never married. They technically still has a chance. Rickon 
is marrying a, oh, married a Mandalay. Uh, wow, she's uh, uncloth, uh, irritable. She kind of looks weird. Uh, they have no lands or children yet. And Durana? Who the hell? Oh, okay, Harwood. Okay, that's funny. Uh, Catelyn remarried a Harwood and had Durana. Okay, fair enough. Okay, really, really bizarre. Rob married a Fae as of House Slate and had one... A princess, a prince, a princess, another princess, another prince. Okay, fair enough, cool. Interesting. So, yeah, okay. So, we're going to go to the wedding, because why not? Uh, animal attack. Wild animals came to our camp last night while we were in Castle Yorok. No one was hurt, but they ransacked some of our food supplies. Mmm, buy supplies from the locals. It's going to cost us 20 gold, fine, whatever. This... Wedding better be bloody good. We're just here to party. Yes, sure, why not? Uh, I can't wait. Because technically he's our nephew as well, so I can't see why we wouldn't. Lady Corinne's inherited has are increased. What? How much gold? We're gonna take the hook. I'd rather the hook. That way. We can demand 20 gold. I know in the long term it's probably better to increase the taxes, but you know what? I'm happy with that. How exciting. Okay, so the wedding's still going on. That's fine. Hmm. Gain's opinion. Oh, what a long face. Hmm. You know what? We're going to lose stress and get King Tyrion to like us a little bit more. I think that's probably the best bet. Everything is good for us. Oh, we could get a weak hook on her. That would be really good. Okay, where did you get to try and get a quick uh, a weak hook on her? We did, excellent. That's brilliant, I like that. I don't know what we're going to be able to do with it, but we'll see. Uh... Master Josmin likes me, that's fine. I'm not too fussed about that. I'm hoping she brings in a bit of an income. We can then ask for money. Oh, she's an empress. Okay, fair enough. And he's a king. That makes no sense, but what else? Okay, uh. Oh, Rob's come down. Okay. Hmm. We could form a friendship with Rob. Sure, you know what? But I prefer Rob's positive thinking. We get a closer relationship with Rob, and we get 100 stewardship. Uh, Lord Simon, I'm not too fussed about you. Uh, it doesn't like me as much. That's okay. And we got a point for stewardship as well. Ooh. Praise a happy couple, as expected. They both like us. Uh, they like us a little bit more. He likes us. We get some prestige, but she doesn't like us. Um, we're just going to praise a happy couple. Sure, why not? We lose some stress, and they both like us by a plus 30. And something happened. Ooh. She paid a hundred, well, he paid a hundred gold because she probably did something really bad. But that's okay, I'll take the hundred gold. And while we're here, we might as well uh, go detailed ledgers, I think would be the best bet. Republican rulers like us and we get a bit more gold. So 14.3, that's pretty good. Okay, dynastic doubts. Uh... Tired after long days waiting and socializing, my son, nephew, and I ensconce uh, ourselves at a table to mull over the union. You know, I must say, I have misgivings. I worry for my cousin. How can a heathen like her be trusted? Okay. Oh, because she's of a different religion. Hmm. We could become friends with our son, but I'm not too worried. Trust me, it's a good match. Uh, sure, we can just say, just trust me, it's a good match. I think it is, you know. She's a Stark, he's a Lannister, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Ooh, sure, more ale, I think. I'm not going to do that, that doesn't help us. Uh, but we could, we gain Anger Reveler, so that's cool, and we've got a chance of getting drunk. Yeah, didn't think we were going to get drunk. It would have been funny if we did. 
Uh, wait, no better time to rifle through the chambers. We are not a thief. Uh, sure, he's our neighbouring vassal. We will try and become closer friends with him. Because we're compassionate. Like I said, I can't see us going through and stealing some gold from random people. We gained 50 legitimacy, we lost some stress, and we gained 10 experience in Eagle Revelry. And, okay, we get guest to the wedding of the century. Cool. That's really good. And, oh, 350 prestige as well, which, to tell you the truth, it's not a whole lot. In the grand scheme of things, since we can't really do it. Our spouse also gained architecture expertise as well, which is quite good. Okay, so like I said, we got a lot of gold now, which is really good. Uh, so as soon as this one's done, we're ready to go up to the next level almost, which is quite good. I'm going to leave that episode here, guys, as well. Thank you very much for staying tuned. As always, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. And yeah, I think, like I said, once we kind of die and our son inherits... Um, we're going to try and claim down here, Kraken Hall. And that will give us three baronies, which is quite good. We're not quite yet ready to overthrow the Lannisters. I don't think we will ever. I don't know. If you, that's what, something you guys want to see, where we do actually overthrow the Lannisters. Let me know. This character isn't built for it. Um, same with this character, but you never know. We may get a child that one day will be ready to create himself his own king. So until then, you guys have a good one, and bye for now.